I feel that I am really good at that for everybody but myself. And why is that? Why is that? We don't know, it's ridiculous. It is. <laughs> it's like I can reconcile everybody's checkbook but my own. That doesn't make any sense. But I was talking about religion and You know all what you're trying itself? to do? You're, you're just trying to live up to the prophecy that your father put on your tombstone. But when, I'm gonna be 60 next month. When do I let that go? Well, they're very encouraging. Probably never. We're teasing you. Maybe when you croak, or you could put something else on the tombstone. My father was wrong. <laughs> we want you to have a, not just a tombstone, we want a monument because we got a lot to write on it. So, you want to say, my father meant well, but he was raised in an environment where he saw things more as they are. And he observed me every day. And oh, by the way, right on the side of it, because at the place where nobody else reads it very much, to, right then right on the side of it. And I complained to my father quite a bit and I wanted to please him and I wanted him to be proud of me. And so I pointed out a lot of things that I was doing for a lot of people. And he heard that so much that he began to believe me. So really it's not so much that my father was wrong. It was that I was wrong, but I talked so much about it that my father began to observe me in the way that I was mostly offering my vibration. And so it's logical that he would come to that conclusion. And so he said that I should write that on my tombstone or that somebody should, but he's going to be long dead before I need a tombstone anyway. So he won't be writing it on there. And so. What would I like my tombstone to say? It was real fun. <laughs> it was real fun. It was really fun. I learned a lot. I had a really good time. I'm having a really good time. I don't even know why I have this tombstone because whatever's buried there isn't me. I reemerged into non-physical and I'm flying high and I'm now the fulfillment of everything that I wanted. Just talk to yourself until you loosen up on that stuff that you know can't be right because it feels so bad when you think it. It can't be right. It can't be right that you are unworthy and it can't be right that you have to suffer your way into salvation and it can't be right that God wants you to suffer. That cannot be right. That cannot be right. What is right is that you are pure positive energy and that you decided to come into this physical body because you knew there was a lot going on and you would find it interesting. And you knew that there would be things that would inspire you and you knew you would launch rockets and you knew that a lot of those rockets you would launch and you wouldn't be ready to move in the direction of them but you knew that your inner being would stay stuck to them and that your inner being would never turn away from who you have become vibrationally and that you would be able to feel it and you knew that when you tune into who you really are and feel the love of who your inner being is and that source energy who never takes eyes off of you there aren't any eyes who never takes attention away from you who has complete awareness of you and your value you knew for sure that you could vibe that out and that's exactly what this whole conversation has been about that's what you've been saying to us I know all of this stuff but I don't always go there and you know why you're mixed up almost everybody is with what you were first encouraged to believe in other words you're encouraged to believe that your parents are wise and no matter how dumb they are <laughs> you think they're smart but selfish was a dirty word in my household selfish oh, was a dirty well, word. of course it was because selfish Oh, this is such a long story, isn't it? <laughs> if you are not tuned into source energy, so you are not empowered, but you still have stuff you want to get done, don't you look to others to help you out? How do you get people to do stuff they don't want to do? Do you know what sells? Fear sells. Selling water treatment systems, you don't say, Ooh, the water tastes so good. You say, That water, it'll kill you. That water is poison. So much of the world is pushing against what they don't want, thinking that they will obliterate it. There's a war against so many things, but the laws of the universe don't work in that way. And so, just because you thought it, and just because a lot of people do think it, does it resonate with you? Do you want to? scare people into their alignment do you think you could so what are you going to do about it
you're talking to us about it like what you're saying is real or has validity I can uplift everybody but myself well you know better than that why are you still saying something that you don't even believe we know you don't believe it you didn't believe it when you sat down and you really don't believe it after we've been ranting as we have and so why do you think you said it why did you say that this is an important question because a lot of people are doing the same thing why would you pronounce something that you for sure don't want that you for sure don't want why would you talk about it and activate it why is that habit of observing what is that's all it is we're not trying to get you to not observe that and instead observe this why because you can't see what hasn't manifested into something by the time it manifests into something that your eyes can interpret into something meaningful it's got a lot of momentum going before that thought turns to something that you can see visually there's some stuff that has to go on so what are you going to do about that we're not saying observe that or observe that we're saying observe that if it feels good and do your best to sense this well the thing that we don't get about you all acting like it's hard to sense things just because you can't see them is that we're all over it it's the main event it's the energy that creates worlds it's big it's feelable it's awarenessable it's feelable it's identifiable do you know the difference between love and anger then you saw it do you know the difference between clarity and confusion then you saw it you awarenessed it you awarenessed it you have the knowledge of it so our question to all of you is why would you run around with mediocre translation of vibration oh I can see that we say everybody can see that it manifested everybody can see it but you can be aware of things that you can't yet see and if you let yourself be aware of what you can't yet see oh it'll come into view you'll have divine timing you'll turn a corner and somebody will meet you the words you've been wanting to hear somebody will say them to you you'll turn on the radio and they'll be in the song you'll get in your car and you'll go somewhere and you'll see something you've never seen before ever 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 and as you connect those dots I wanted that and there it is I've been driving through this neighborhood for 30 years and I've never seen that until I asked for it and didn't do something that kept me from seeing it Esther had a beautiful gold pen Jerry bought it for her she liked it so much it was gold not just gold colored it was gold and it was weighted it was just the right weight and she used it to write love letters to the people in her life it was something that she liked so much and they moved and they were in a different place and she realized that she hadn't seen it in a while she began looking for it she couldn't find it it was gone and she said to Jerry I think I've lost it I can't find it and Jerry said, oh, it's around somewhere. You didn't lose it. It's around somewhere. And I said, I don't know. Maybe I left it on a table in the restaurant or something. I don't know. I can't find it. She looked everywhere. When she unpacked every box, she couldn't find it. She couldn't find it. She couldn't find it. She couldn't find it. She has a shelf full of handbags. She went through all the handbags, reached in, felt around, dumped everything upside down, looked everywhere. Could not find it. Could not find it. Suffered, suffered, suffered. Guilty, guilty, guilty. That thing cost a lot of money. It was her favorite, 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 favorite material object for the moment. And she could not find it. It was gone. It was unobserved observable therefore it was gone she could not find it Jerry said Esther it doesn't matter it matters Esther let it go I can't <laughs> Esther I'll get you another one you shouldn't have to do that <laughs> and then she let it go days went by weeks went by and then one day she thought I used to have a really pretty little perfume thing I wonder where that is she went to her closet pulled down a bag reached in and came out with her gold pen it had been there it didn't materialize it hadn't dematerialized and then materialized she just couldn't rendezvous with something that's lost you can't find something that's lost 
you just can't your awareness has to be that it exists you have to believe in its existence and you have to practice your belief in its existence which means we have a lot of conversing to do don't we because we want to talk to you about who you were before you got here well you don't remember that so that's not something that you can observe or remember well that sucks Abraham why didn't I bring a memory with me about that it would have been so much easier yeah but you wanted fresh new everything you already were that you wanted to be something else you wanted to be new and adventurous you wanted to find new things and so all day every day you're finding new things and you're launching new rockets of desire and your inner being saying yes 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 that's doable that's doable that's doable that's doable what else that's doable that's doable that's doable oh I really don't like going to this school and I really don't like those people and your inner being's thinking we do we do we do we do because you've been launching more rockets since you met that person than you have in the last five years that person that you think is the worst person on earth has stirred up so much desire within you that your vortex has grown exponentially beyond anything that we can actually put physical numbers to it's big 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 you have expanded but where are you in relationship to your expansion well I'm mostly happy then you're right in alignment I'm mostly discouraged then you're not in alignment take it moment by moment by moment pick the things that are easy you're looking for easy existing matches in that vortex you're not looking for the hardest thing in the world you're not trying to walk through walls we love you so much you're looking for easy existing matches you're looking for things that it's easy for you to feel good about and that's not lazy that's smart that's the path of least resistance that's tuning in that would be like you sitting down to listen to something on a radio and you know what frequency it's on because you've listened to it there before and you say nope I'm not gonna tune to where I know it is I'm gonna tune to where it isn't and I'm gonna demand that it comes <laughs> and we say have at it you might discover something else that you like but when you know how to tune to what you want well what's your tuner what's your tuner when Kate was little she used to hide this little car it was a button for a while it was a number of different things but she had this little car it was Luke's car she loved to hide it and she'd play the warmer colder game with Jerry and Esther she'd hide it in this big building she'd hide it and then she'd give them clues and they would fumble around and because they couldn't see it and pretend like they couldn't find it and they'd walk that way and they'd walk that way and they'd walk that way Jay was really good at it he'd crawl he'd somersault he'd shimmy like a snake sometimes he'd run like he was jogging in other words he made it so much fun and Kate would say warmer 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 and then Jerry would go in exactly the opposite direction she'd say colder 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 until she would guide him to it over and over and over again and your emotions are guiding you to the physical fulfillment and manifestation of each and everything that you want thank you really good is there anything possible that we haven't talked about well you just weren't paying attention <laughs> if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next